I, I really have not had a crisis of faith. Uh, there have been moments in my life uh, when my brilliant cancer doctor son-in-law died of cancer, when most recently one of my oldest friend, Cardinal George Pell, uh, with whom I had worked intensely for over three decades, suddenly died. Well, I really do wonder what divine providence is up to. Uh, those have not been moments of a crisis of faith so much as a crisis of, of or a challenge to conform your life to the divine will. Uh, we were talking about Seattle. Now, it, it, was, it was dealing with the increasingly l irrational, intolerant, leftward politics of Seattle that turned me into a you know, what is conventionally called a neoconservative. I mean, I, I thought and wrote my way into Catholic neoconservatism over against this increasingly, it seemed to me, mindless uh, progressivism that has really uh, made a terrible mess out of both Seattle and Portland, Oregon uh, over the past uh, 10 years. I sort of smelled that coming in the mid-'80s, which was why it was time to get, get out of Dodge and, and come back east. Uh, but in a sense, I'm grateful for that experience because you, I, I think you only really know what you think and what you believe if you try to explain it to others, either in teaching or writing.